This video covers the flash update for 2 gig panels and the secondary TS1 touchscreen keypads. If the firmware versions on the two units don't match, the secondary touchscreen won't function properly. Here is a 2 gig panel that has firmware version 1.13, and here is the 2 gig updater that we will use to flash the panel to version 1.14. The first thing you'll need to do is remove the panel from its mount. Then disconnect the panel's backup battery and disconnect the positive wire to completely power down the system. Here is where you connect the 2 gig updater. There are four pins right next to the panel cellular device. Just plug it in like so. It's okay if the updater hangs there, it doesn't weigh very much, so don't worry about tension on the pins. The updater will first check the panel to verify what version is already installed. You'll hear a series of beeps, and then it'll show 1.14 on the display. Now press and release the button on the front of the updater to initiate the flash process. When you see the letter F display, the counter on the right side of the screen will start to count up. That's the percentage of completion. Once the update is completed, the updater will beep and display done, just as you see here. With the panel powered down, remove the adapter. I disconnected the battery and main power prior to filming this segment. Now you can reconnect the battery and main power and attach the panel back onto the mounting plate. And that's how you flash a Go Control panel with an updater. I still have to flash the TS1 secondary touchscreen keypad, but that will be in a separate video.